everyone. Uh, recently at Kins Farm Market, we began to carry Hawaiian grown basil. On the left, uh, it, we have a Thai variety, and on the right, we have the uh, sweet basil. Um, they're both part of our Jet Fresh series, uh, which means they're picked fresh in Hawaii and flown directly to Vancouver. And uh, the difference between the two, uh, of course, with the name sweet basil, it's a little bit sweeter. And the Thai basil, uh, it has stronger licorice flavor, and it stands to cooking better. And next, uh, we'll show you how to make pesto. For our nut-free pesto recipe, uh, we start with one cup of uh, fully packed basil. Uh, we use sweet basil, and I chop them up a little bit to uh, help them blend. And of course, there is a third of cup of Parmesan cheese, uh, two cloves of garlic, and a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. Uh, traditionally, pesto is used with pine nuts, but in this case, uh, we're going with sunflower seeds for uh, substitution. Uh, there's also a third of a cup of olive oil. And my trusty little magic bullet. Um, of course, a food processor would be best, but uh, if you don't have that, uh, something like this or a blender would work as well. Now let's just stuff that up into the uh, cup here. Go. That smells amazing right now. And after we put in all the basil, let's add in the other ingredients. Uh, Parmesan cheese and the sunflower seeds as well. Now one thing I didn't mention previously uh, is that if you'd like to have a little salt in your pesto sauce, um, this is of course just up to your own uh, personal preference, I add in a little pinch of salt right here. Go. Now let's pour in the oil. And let's get to blending. After a while, uh, the content may bind in your uh, magic bullet or blender. Just bring it up and shake it around a little bit. Uh, you can add in a bit more olive oil to help as well. Also to help with blending, you can actually pick up the whole thing to shake it. And once you get it to a consistency that you like, Take it out and uh, give it a little taste to see if it needs anything else. Mm, perfect. And uh, then you can get a jar ready or any container you like. Uh, grab a spatula and uh, start scooping it in. Uh, another way to keep it for a longer period of time is to actually freeze it. Uh, you can get a ice cube tray such as this uh, to scoop the uh, pesto directly into the sections and uh, put in your freezer. And what happen is they'll form into ice cubes uh, and you can pop the cubes out, uh, put it in a plastic bag or a container in the fridge and uh, use them a cube at a time. And there you go. Now you can use this pesto on pizza, bread, pasta or anything you like. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!